newly appointed High Counselor of Gemini, reporting on the events of the Earth date November 3rd of 2018. That morning, my betrothed, Cyrus of Ares, convinced me to summon him into a physical form. Only later did I discover his true intentions. I did not inform the Council of Constellations, but instead chose to perform my own investigation. I followed him to the home of Raytaye Wicker, an agender makeup artist with blood ties to the star falling. I don't know who you are, but you picked the wrong house to break into. You? Hello, Raytaye. It is good to finally meet you in a physical form. But wait, that's impossible. Nothing is impossible for us any longer. I can finally be with you the way we were always meant to be. Meant to be? But how are you even real? Don't you know, Reitaye? You are of the cosmos. Well, everybody's made of stardust, but... No, Reitaye. More than stardust. Here, let me show you. Your mother was a star called Folly who took human form on this planet to be with a human named Eric, your father. When she had you, her essence was transferred and she became mortal. But you, you now have that power. And if you only unlock it, you can shed this mortal form to become your greatest self. Of course, first I must build you a proper kingdom, a new world worthy of you. That's all sweet and all, but how exactly do you plan to make a new world? It shall be built upon the ashes of the old one. It shall be a world in which only you and I live. And you shall have everything your heart desires, and I shall have you. But wait, you can't just... Wait! Stop! I momentarily lost control of my emotions. You stole him from me. You bewitched Cyrus with your humanity, and you're all the same selfish and destructive. Would it not be what your kind calls poetic justice to end you right now? I don't know who you are. I didn't even think he was real until a few minutes ago. I just want to stop him. I want to save the town. But your precious humanity could never survive the use of your cosmic energy. Folly was a full blood, and even she chose humanity over her birthright. I don't want your stupid birthright. I just want to save all those people. And perhaps there's more to humans than I had originally thought. Great Haie, of the Star Folly, and of the Human Eric, I vow to aid you in your quest to stop Cyrus of Ares. I don't know where the sudden change of heart came from, but I'll take all the help I can get. Come. We must seek the guidance of the Council. I will lend you my power so that you need not use your own. Let's go. I surrounded us in my cosmic energy and transported us to the astral plane. High Council of Constellations, there has been a great disturbance in the balance of nature, and Cyrus of Ares is its perpetrator. Bring you this Hathelin as a witness to his crimes? I do. Then let the trial begin. Let the, the trial, trial begin. begin. Huh? What is this? Reitaye, what is going on? The accused will remain silent during sentencing. Sentencing? I thought this was a trial. 
our trials work differently from yours because we already know the accused is guilty before we begin. The accusers will remain silent as well. Apologies, High Counselor of Libra. The accused, Cyrus of Ares, has been found to be in direct violation of our laws, which prevent interference in planetary affairs, destruction of property, and the willful taking of life on a large scale. Guilty. Guilty. For your crimes against planet Earth and its inhabitants, you are hereby sentenced to carry out the remaining of your days at the bottom of Earth's deepest ocean. Do you understand what this means? I understand that life for our people on Earth is unending, which means that my sentence is unending. Now is the time for the executioner to step forward. Ratai Eofoli and of the human Eric Wicker, do you accept the responsibility of delivering Cyrus of Ares to your Earth's ocean to carry out his punishment? I do. Let it be so. The Council of Constellations is needed elsewhere. Adjourned. Adjourned. We must depart now. Yeah. Hey, can you give us a minute? Ratai, we both have strong feelings for him, but you cannot neglect your duty as executioner. Please. I will await you at the entry point. Thanks. You know what you did was wrong? Yes. I didn't want it to end like this. I know. I am sorry, Celeste. I should have known that would not be the end. I did not see that his hands were unbound. And I lacked the foresight. No longer. What you have experienced up until now is all that remains of our people, aside from Reitaye and myself. But soon I fear they shall come for me. And I will suffer a fate worse than death or eternal life beneath the sea.